Hey, this is Brett and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door sport in pumpkin orange metallic. This 2023 Jeep Wrangler is stock number 23J279 and I am here of course at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. So I'm gonna go all the way around on this Wrangler, show you the color, show you all the options on it, and we'll get started right away with going under the hood. This particular Wrangler has my favorite setup for a driveline. It has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, puts out 285 horsepower, 260 foot pounds of torque. It's gonna to get you 24 miles per gallon on the highway 19 city, an average of 21 miles per gallon. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. There is the emission sticker and um, everything you see under here that is yellow are all your service items such as washer fluid, oil, and uh, brake fluid. So let's go take a look at the original window sticker. Here's the original window sticker, as you can see, 2023 Wrangler four-door sport 4x4. I'm not going to go through everything, but most of it. You can see that color is called pumpkin metallic clear coat. Black interior has the cloth blowback bucket seats. 3.6 liter with the e-torque, so it has start-stop capabilities, and the 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. Feel free to pause it. Pumpkin metallic clear coat is your first first optional equipment. That's six ninety five. Something to note that all the other colors are four ninety five, except pumpkin, which that I've seen is six ninety five. So it's two hundred dollars more than the normal other colors, such as granite or stingray or black or uh, high velocity yellow or any of those colors. So um, two hundred bucks more. The customer preferred package 25B is the sport package, gives you the automatic transmission for $42.50. You get the select speed crawl control and anti-lock four-wheel disc brakes, anti-spin differential rear axle is $7.95. You get the, uh, with that, you get the 3.6 V6 engine. Deep tint sunscreen windows are $4.95. The black three-piece hard top is $18.95. And then the satin black grill by Mopar is $3.25 and the 1941 Hood graphic by Mopar is $245, and then the Sirius XM radio is $295. Total MSRP is $45,985 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives in the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to that. Also linked in the description below. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper -bumper and five-year 60 powertrain. There are the miles per gallon and the safety ratings. Let's go take a look at that grill and hood graphics. So what they mean by the satin finish grill, so it's kind of that flat black on there. That is that special grill. And then the hood graphics are the 1941 uh, decals right there. Now, if you didn't like them, you could just take those off. Those are pretty easy to remove, but since they are um, extra, might as well leave them on there. I think it adds a good accent to the hood. You get the plastic black fenders, the steel wheels that are painted black as well, has Michelin. LTX MS tires. These are 24575R17s and definitely an all season tread pattern to them. Um, Michelin's always a really good brand of tire. You get the little sandals in the shroud, the Jeep climbing up the windshield. T50 on the door hinges there that lets you know which Torx wrench to take those door hinges or those bolts out with. And uh, we actually did a demo on how to take your doors off your JL. So. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen, as well as linked in the description below. Coming around to the back, you get LED license plate lights, the matching spare tire and wheel. Back here, there's a lot of storage area. Those seats do fold down. I'll show you that in a second. You get your storage case for the front hard top pieces and storage back here, which I like. You also get the door hinge and roof and windshield bolt holders. And then you get all the bolts on the side. Uh, there's three on each side of that top and then two on the top so a total of eight bolts and then two quick disconnects to get this hard top off i actually did a demo on how to do that if you want to check that out that's also in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below note this seven slotted grill and you get that really cool jl badge back here for two door four door wheelbase and overall length as well as water fording and where it's made so i want to show you this uh 
pumpkin metallic, so it doesn't really look metallic and it's not really a high metallic paint, but it does have just the ever so hint of metal flake to it. You can kind of see it there. It's really hard to get to focus because it is so faint. You get just a little bit of metallic on there, so kind of a cool color. Reminds me of my old Wrangler. Very similar, not the same. Mine was Sunset Pearl or something like that. Anyways, let's take a look at the interior. Inside you get the black cloth bucket seats. This one has the driver's seat height adjuster. These Jeeps also have side airbags now. The uh, sport package does give you floor mats, tilt, telescopic steering wheel, manual locks, manual windows, as well as manual mirrors. Back seats, you do get the latch child safety system back here for any child car seats. And these seats fold down nice and flat like so. That headrest also stays down, so if nobody's riding in the back, you can have better visibility out of the back. Child safety locks on the back doors, and you can see you get manual windows back here as well. We'll hop inside, check out the radio and instrument cluster real quick, as well as that dash, because that's kind of cool too, specific to the sport package. You get the digital speedometer, um, 14 miles on it. Now this one has kind of the urethane, a uh, rubber steering wheel, does not have the leather wrapped one, that's part of the sport package. Uh, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, but it does have the audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, which is really nice. You get the seven inch um, Uconnect uh, radio, which gives you AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. And this one has uh, Sirius there, you can see Radio Mar Margaritaville. You have all your different apps on here. Now you can also project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Why that's important? If you have a nav system on your cell phone, such as Waze or Google Maps, project it right to the screen, and then it's like you have nav right on the screen. So that's a really nice system to have, um, especially on a base sport package. Uh, this is also where your backup camera shows up. We'll start it up here and check out that backup camera. You can see just how nice and crystal clear that is, they've made them really nice on the Wranglers. Down here, your climate controls, your start-stop capabilities, stability control, speed select crawl control. You get a USB, USB-C, and an AUX jack. 4x4 shifter, 8-speed automatic transmission. You do get that little Jeep on the top there. And then you get the flipper key here, so that's to get into the doors. Um, so while this does not have any keyless entry or anything, uh, you do need this key fob to start it because it has the push button start. So it does have a proximity key fob in here, or this is the, a proximity key fob. So when it's in the vehicle, it knows that it's in here. There's really no place to put a key that you can see. Now, the other cool thing about the sport package is this mineral gray dash. So I really like the color of that. Um, if you saw my video on the Sport Altitude, it actually comes with a granite crystal dash, which is really neat as well. But all the Sport packages come with that mineral gray dash. The front hard top pieces with that kind of crushed eggshell look. And uh, SOS and assist buttons up there. We'll do one more final walk around here with all the lights on and everything. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. There are those LED license plate lights. And hopefully from this HD video, you've gotten a really good idea of the overall looks, styling, and options on a base sport package, and got a little bit better look at this pumpkin orange metallic paint. And yes, it is metallic. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can definitely do that at summitauto or youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive, as well as one, access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. Yes, it's true, over 8,500 videos on there. Um, so click that, subscribe. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hardtop off your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be helping you with this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler four-door sport in pumpkin orange metallic. 
Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.